For the past year, Wendy has embarked on a complicated task, sorting through transactions and reports of Russian banks and companies that revolve around the names Donald Trump and Vladimir Putin. Several times a week, this Democratic voter posts her finds on various social networks. One thing that's interesting with my charts is when I publish them, a lot of people go, oh, look at all the criminals, look at all the crime here, but there's nothing illegal here. This is showing business transactions that are perfectly fine in my chart, but they're interesting, they're worth looking into. Wendy and many of her fellow citizen journalists are confident Special Prosecutor Robert Mueller's investigation into Russian interference will force the president out of the White House. The investigation has already resulted in the indictments of two former presidential advisors. But Donald Trump has not wavered in his defense, denying any collusion whatsoever. No. It's a Democrat hoax that was brought up as an excuse for losing an election. This president is unfit for office and needs to go. Billionaire environmentalist Tom Steyer is not waiting for the end of the investigation. He has launched a campaign to impeach Donald Trump and plans to spend $30 million to help the Democrats take over the House of Representatives in upcoming elections, which would play a key role during a potential vote on impeachment. Anyway, By my count, Donald Trump has committed at least eight impeachable offenses. He's trampling on the rule of law and risking nuclear conflict. He is a clear and present danger to the institutions of our democracy and to the safety of the American people. Impeachment is a political process that begins with a vote in the House of Representatives, followed by a trial in the Senate. The question that is on everyone's mind is, will there be what we call a smoking gun that ties the Russian interference to Trump himself and prove some form of collusion. If that's the case, it is treason. Though three U.S. presidents have been impeached, none has successfully been removed. Richard Nixon resigned before he could be convicted, and the other two, including Bill Clinton in 1999, were acquitted.